I should have put wash this thing. You should, you should have him wash Rosine. Oh my gosh. I need, it to, I need Rosine to be clean. <laughs> I know, I'm playing. To a specific degree. That's like, I, I know, like my amazing degree. That's clean. Yeah. Not like, no, oh, well, you wiped it with water. That's cool. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I mean, you could just say it like I'm really good at cleaning trucks. I mean, pretty good. thank you. So, guys, little update on the old 1500, the old half ton of Ram. Uh, she's out for the year. She's not going to be parked away anymore. We're going to actually try to make a spot in the garage enough so I can park her in the garage here use it as kind of like a daily runner on nice weather days and uh she still needs some things bumper still needs a line the small stuff it's one of those things where like all the other work stuff going on just not really like my top priority to get everything on my list done with this thing at once but um it's looking good just a little dusty but looking good we didn't go off-roading but well we kind of did <laughs> i drove it from the house back to the farm so i guess kind of just this thing's gonna be getting cleaned like super clean right after. Yeah, in the bird trap. Yeah. Well, that's because there's freaking birds living in our barn now. So crap on everything. We're gonna do a real just a relaxed, kinda like a last drive in Rosine here for well, for both of us. But being Reagan's, you know, previously her baby, she's got another truck now. If you guys haven't seen the video, she got a third gen. What year is it? Oh, seven. It's an 0759. Um, quad cab short bed truck, super clean, pretty much no rust other than the little spot we tried to address on it, but super nice truck. And she bought that truck to replace this one for a more usable, like if she wanted to hop in, run around with the kids, if she wanted to hook a trailer, go to town, whatever. Or if she just wants to drive the truck for a two or three hour trip, like going to visit right. family or whatever, she can pretty much hop in it daily and it's a comfortable daily driver. She can go through drive through she can go through a bank, she can get into tight spaces just fine. Like just a little bit more practical for needs, but still have the truck for truck stuff. Um, that being said, Rosine does have a winner. Charlie Day out of Vandalia, Ohio. He's coming from a few hours up tomorrow to pick up this truck. So we wanted to get one last drive without without him being here yet, just kind of like, just me and Reagan, one last drive in Rosine of just the two of us, and we're gonna pretend Ty's not in the backseat <laughs> recording, but he's gonna be there, and uh, then get this thing back and give it one final full detail before it goes off to the new owner. So hop in, let's go for a drive. Door just slapping the back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to clean this thing yet. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh man. The old Rose 24, man. Bro, give me the juice. <laughs> the sub is so ridiculous. Yeah, custom built sub box we put in. If you guys have been watching for a long, long time viewers will remember all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Built a custom sub box so you can still use your cup holders. I have a really good sounding sub here. With leather upholstery to match the seats. I had this done by a custom leather upholstery, leather upholstery shop in Gary, Indiana. Custom interiors by Thomas. It's good stuff. Go you know, left or right. I mean, sure, you're gonna have to cut out a lot of bad jokes, but you know. Yeah, let's let's try not to butcher the video too much. I just want to be like just a casual. having second thoughts because there's no begging out now. Oh, oh great, great. You just had to ruin our video. It is ridiculous. 
ridiculously bumpy back here. Huh? So it is ridiculously bumpy back here. Firing me up right now. You all saw it here on video. Charlie, do you have any issues with your truck? I took amazing care of it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you know, you got people that get hated on for like being too abusive with their vehicles, and you got people that get hated on because they don't do anything abusive with their vehicles, which is like me. I'm wrong on it. No kidding, that's not calling. I don't like burnouts. You just said you didn't burn. It's like, like a long time ago. Last drive in the old Rosie 24. Huh? It's a picture of this. Just happy that. I mean, maybe it's just because it's not actually leaving the driveway right now, but right now, I'm not, I'm not even a little bit sad. Not, <laughs> sad. not sad and like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna sad like that. Yeah. I think I was a little bit more second guessing it before the giveaway started thinking about it but now that the giveaway has been going and it's over and we have a winner I think after all that time of thinking about like oh Rosie's gone like it's already given away right. like in my mind we gave it away the day that we launched it mentally for me so like for me I think I'm good I think I'm at peace with yeah, I mean, you cried a little bit that day. Yeah, but I didn't get out of the camera. camera. Yeah, before the all good. started, maybe. But like, once it started, in my mind, it was like, okay, it's over. You know? Yeah, okay. You did not cry. No, not I don't know. Because I legit cried. I mean, <laughs> but you got a little teary there for a second, Bill. A little bit. A little bit, Bill. A little bit, Bill. It's okay, though. I, mean, like, I legit cried. I mean, she bawled her eyes out. What? <laughs> I did. Huh. I thought we talked about this. I think it was a while ago. It was like it was the same like, time almost. I think it was at the time we were just talking about the idea of it. And then I think I just came to the realization that I don't really need it anymore, that I grew up. I'm not a teenager anymore. Yeah. But do you really need to be a teenager to still love this thing? I Listen mean, to no. it.
that's sad actually now that you say that it kind of puts it yeah. more in his perspective Here's my two cents. I feel like five years from now, you gotta track down the winner and be like, listen, I gotta buy it back. Right. I feel like that's what's gonna happen, like, realistically. Just mainly, mainly because of the... And first off, not to mention, it wasn't my idea. Because remember, I try, I try to talk you out of get rid of, rid of <laughs> I try to talk you out of getting rid yeah. of Rosine with tons but. of different options. I'm like, I'll make it a dually, I'll freaking lower the suspension. I'm like, none of it really makes a whole lot of sense because you're still gonna have an extended cab second gen right. that still I has mean, second gen ride quality. So, but I'm like, but if that's what you want to do, then you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, well, do what you want. So, well, I mean, even riding this compared to that, you say there's no difference? Oh, shit, that's not even close. Because a lot of people say it, there's no difference. Uh, then you've never ridden any 7-inch worth of 2nd gen compared to a leveled on Fox suspension 3rd gen. It's a big difference. For now, it, it, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Until you get your 4th gen long or you want it, whatever. I mean, I'm going 2nd gen, then I'm going to go 3rd gen, 4th gen. She's gonna keep working her way up through all the gens. All the gens, man. She's gonna hit them all. You gotta have them all. Actually, I technically already had a fourth gen. You did have a fourth gen and a fourth gen. Very short. Well, so I she had. skipped and went back down. I had a Longhorn fourth gen, a brand new. And then I got a brand new fifth gen. And then I went back to the second gen. <laughs> I actually went right no down, 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 down. I went right back to a white second gen, which was my first second gen I ever had. It was a white, but it was diesel, but it was a white second gen. So that's me and Reagan's two trucks right there. Third gen and uh second gen. Freaking dog on my half ton, dude. A half ton means hey. a little to me, bro. I wasn't dogging on man. I love the half ton. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It's okay, when you want a real man's truck, I got one for you. 
That's true. See, exactly. So I don't, I don't, I don't need to have another diesel. I'll just take this one. Nobody cares. Say it to my face. When people get offended, like we had the shifting gears and passing queers T-shirt. Freaking customers sending it. I don't even know if these customers. Just somebody watched a YouTube video, I guess. Sending an email complaining. I'm so offended by that T-shirt. Get out of here. That shirt's not for you, then, bro. You ain't gotta buy it. Roll, scroll past it, man. Save it for all the other tons of people that bought it. You know what I mean? It's a cool day shirt. It's just supposed to be funny. It's gorgeous. It really is. It's just supposed to be funny. For us. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. So how you wanna step over and get your freaking kitty out back out of it? I gotta change my user. Are you kidding me right now? You should get a video of me. Do I look like somebody who's kidding me? Uh, Listen, out. Mr. Halfton. <laughs> you know what? Mr. Halfton is way better than Mr. I don't know, bro. Let the people decide. Uh, people will decide. I don't think you're going to like the outcome. <laughs> I feel like my kids are going to look back on this video and be like, Mom, why did you get rid of that truck? Like, I, I would totally get rid of that truck. Like, you were cool, and now you, like, try Yeah, to explain why you're not cool anymore. You know? Nobody wants a 15 no one cares about limited this. But no, I'm pretty serious. Like, super grateful for the truck. I'm grateful for the memories. I'm going to miss her for sure, but... I hope that Charlie enjoys it just as much as I did, and hopefully he gives me a chance to buy it back ever if he decides he doesn't want it or move on to something else. Um, yeah, she's been good to me. I've only had one issue since owning her, and she's been fun, but it's time to go up in the Mopar family. <laughs> Get practical. Yes, become practical, and um, yeah, I'm just glad. I mean, she's helped now. And a new truck and a horse trailer, so I'm happy and hope he's happy. So that was so heartfelt. Is this really what you sound all day? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't know. She literally doesn't watch any of my YouTube videos. No. Like when she boycotted YouTube, she boycotted everything, even my videos. <laughs> okay, it's an extra view. That's like an extra point zero 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 one cent I could have been making on my videos. Seriously. See you in the next.